I, I want to talk for a second about low points because I sure. think people never appreciate how bad they really are. And I think it's always yeah. reassuring to hear that even Mark Zuckerberg went through some serious low points and came out okay. So can you tell us about some of the hardest parts in the history of the early history of Facebook? Yeah, I think one of the hardest parts for me was um, was actually when Yahoo offered to buy the company for for a lot of money. Because up until that point, that was this turning point in the company where before that we. Uh, every day we'd just come in and kind of do what we thought was the right next thing to do, right? We'd open to more schools, we we opened to high school yeah. and opened beyond schools and, um, you know, launched more photos because so, because that's what seemed like the next thing that, that we needed to do to help people express themselves and, and understand more what was going on around them. Um, but then, you know, Yahoo came in with this, um, with this really meaningful offer, right? I mean, a, a billion dollars for... And this was how far into the company? Um, it was a couple of years in, okay. right? And you know, I mean, we had ten million people using the product at the time, right? So it wasn't like it wasn't as if it were obvious that we were going to succeed far beyond that. And that was the first point where we really had to um, to look at the future and say, "Wow, um, is what we're going to build um, going to actually?" Um, be so much more meaningful for this, and you know that caused a lot of interesting conversations in the company and and with our investors. And you know, at the end of that, Dustin and I just decided, you know, no, we think that we can actually go connect more than just the 10 million people who are in schools. We can go beyond that and and have this really be a successful thing. And we decided to go for it, but that was really stressful because a lot of people really thought that we should sell the company. And um, and you know, for a lot of folks who joined a startup, I, I feel like at that point I hadn't been very good about communicating that we were trying to go for this mission. Yeah. Um, you know, we just showed up every day and, yeah. and just kind of did what we thought was the, the right next thing to do. So for a lot of the folks who joined early on, they, they weren't really aligned with me, right? For, for them, you know, they, they joined and, um, you know, being able to sell a company for a billion dollars after a couple of years, was, that was like a home run, <laughs> right? And, and it is a home run, right? Oh. And, and that's, you know, I think that that's, um, I, I get that, but, you know that I think that the fact that I didn't communicate very well about what we were trying to do caused um, caused this huge tension. And the part that was painful wasn't wasn't turning down the offer. It was the fact that after that, um, a huge amounts of the company quit because they didn't believe in in what we were what we were doing. Right. I mean, if you look at the management team that we had, did that whole um, management team leave? The whole management team was gone within um, within about a year after that. Did you ever regret that decision in that period? Like, were there are times where you were like, well, we should have sold. Um, you know, we were, I was, I got really lucky because, you know, not only did, did what I believed in end up working out, but it ended up working out pretty quickly, right? So it literally, you yeah. know, I think this was in the summer of 2006 and by, um, you know, I think the, the next month after that we launched Newsfeed, right? Which now 10 years later, looking back at it is, you know, one of the most used products in the world. And then we launched the ability for anyone to sign up, which Im- immediately started, um, growing the community. So within a few months after turning down the offer, I think it was actually pretty clear that that was the right decision. But, you know, I think, you know, since then there have been much harder decisions yeah. that we've had to make where, you know, sometimes you have to you have to bet on something and, and you know, either, you know, bet the direction of the company or, you know, bet billions of dollars on something. And it's not going to be clear whether you're right for five or 10 years. And, you know, th- that I think actually can end up being much harder than, than this That's one. That's what I want to talk about next. But before we go there, have you ever thought about selling the company again since? No, after that point, I was just yeah, got that out of the way. We're gonna yeah. hire people that want to be here for a long time, and yeah, 